are in regards to repentance and confession. Let's begin with 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 as it reads If we confess our sins he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness Psalms 66, verse 18. If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord wouldn't, would not have listened. Let's repeat that one. Psalm 66, verse 18. If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 22 through 24. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. You know, we're going to repeat that verse because, in regards to seeking forgiveness, it appeared to be a pretty powerful verse to me because a lot of us, as you may always hear, it's not God that doesn't forgive us, it's us not forgiving ourselves. And I battle with that a lot because, you know, I suppose sharing my feelings when you know that you would have, should have, could have did better. And you lay down your burdens to the Lord and you ask for forgiveness and you repent meaning turning away from your old ways that if you have any type of heart and compassion and a love for the father you just feel so convicted because you sit there and you allow the devil to get into your head and have you thinking about the fact that you was just dead wrong how could you do it But more and more as I continue to stay in my word, and it really is a necessity, people. I can't stress it enough. I'm not lying. In order for me to stay on the path that I'm searching for the Lord, having destined for me to be on, with everything that's online if I get outside of my word and spending time with God I'll begin to drift and when you already know about what that life is like and people know you to be in your old skin without even thought not staying grounded in the word of God it's easy to slowly slide back in you have to be willing to accept spiritual discipline and stand for something because of him I've been able to hold on 
And we all got problems. We all got different things going on in our life that possibly we feel like, you know, it would take a little bit of stress off if I had a drink. It would take a little bit of stress off if I did this or did that. If I did something ungodly, let's just say that because everybody don't have problems with drugs or alcohol or sex or shopping, whatever you know that your issue is that's stopping you from obtaining an intimate relationship with our our Heavenly Father. You can't play with it. Those days is gone. You either in or you out. But you gotta be able to know that nothing worth having is easy and it's not gonna happen overnight. God is spiritual, not magical. That's witchcraft. You gotta be willing to take a stand. So let's go through Ephesians 4, verses 22 through 24 again, as a reminder to me and for you. As it reads, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. That concludes your appetizer of scriptures for today in hopes that you will go and feast on the word of God for yourself. If you're a willing heart and you have yet to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can repeat this after me. Dear God, I'm a sinner. I ask that you forgive me for my sins. I believe that you died on the cross and rose. I want to follow you. I want to trust you. I invite you into my heart and my life as my Lord and Savior. You can also ask to be filled with the Holy Spirit. For those of you that's not familiar with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is the teacher. The Holy Spirit helps you to understand and interprets the Bible to you as you read it. That's why it's so important for you not to have the television on, for you to give God real time and be totally attentive to what you're taking in. So if it is a verse that you come across that doesn't really resonate with you, that the Holy Spirit is right there to break it down and explain it to you. Because everybody's walk is different. My name is Tabisha Dominique. You've now been tuned in to the Food That Never Spoils, your daily appetizer of scripture, in hopes that you will go and feast for yourself on the Word of God. Check us out on Jesus on the Main Line on Facebook, and you can also check out the podcast on Going Hard for Jesus. Thank you. Blessings.
Thank you.